Nevermore is like no other boarding school. It's a magical place. It's where my true mother and we fell in love. You guys are making me nauseous. Not in a good way. Did your mother tell you we were roommates back in the day? And you graduated with your sanity intact? Impressive. Eight schools in five years. They haven't built one strong enough to hold me. I bet this place won't be any different. Rumors have been swirling around that you killed a kid at your old school and your parents pulled strings to get you off. Actually, it was two kids, but who's counting? Enid, you're not gonna believe the dirt I heard about your new roommate. She eats human flesh. Totally chowed down on that kid she murdered. You better watch your back. Quite the contrary. I actually flay the bodies of my victims, then feed them to my menagerie of pets. Oh, you know, you should really get on Insta, Snapchat, and TikTok. I find social media to be a soul-sucking void of meaningless affirmation. Oh, you must be the psychopath they let in. And you must be the self-appointed queen bee. Interesting thing about bees, pull out their stingers and they drop dead. This is a safe space Wednesday, a sanctuary where we can discuss anything. What you're thinking, feeling, your views on the world, personal philosophy. That's easy. I think that this is a waste of time. I see the world as a place that must be endured. And my personal philosophy is kill or be killed. Holy crap! Do you make a habit of scaring the hell out of people? It's more of a hobby. It takes a special kind of stupid to devote an entire theme park to zealots responsible for mass genocide. My dad owns Pilgrim World. Who you calling stupid? If the buckled shoe fits. I've contacted his family, but they haven't heard from him either. Dead people are notoriously bad at returning calls. Oh. You see Dr. Kimbot too? You should know I'm legally required to be here. Want to take a stab at being social? I do like stabbing. The social part, not so much. They can't stand the fact that this school is the only thing propping up their podunk town. Says the boy whose life was served to him on a silver platter. Hey, you know, girls in glass houses. To throw bigger stones. I'm going to have to find new evidence myself, since you're the one who lost our only lead. I see you finally made a friend. Even if it is a plant. I go for quality over quantity. You're seriously turning us down? Can you believe it? Untie her. I freed myself five minutes ago. It's amateurs like you who give kidnapping a bad name. You're really becoming obsessed with this whole monster in the woods thing. Would you rather I develop an obsession with horses and boy bands? Who are you talking to, little girl? Use the words little and girl to address me again, and I can't guarantee your safety. Five more minutes. I was just getting comfortable. You look... Unrecognizable. Ridiculous. A classic example of female objectification for the male gaze. Wednesday? I come in peace? That's a shame. I brought my pocket maze. The medieval kind. They couldn't even spring for real pig's blood. Careful. That's my cold shoulder. I know you're usually a quad kind of girl, but I've been working on that all week. Birthday, yes. Happy never. Come on, don't you like a day it's all about you? Every day is all about me. This one just comes with cake and a bad song. Your father and I buried the hatchet. Maybe you should do the same. I don't bury hatchets. I sharpen them. I don't need your help or your pity. I already have a mother and a therapist. That's enough torture, even for me. You could gas an entire small village with the amount of perfume you spritz. That's just off the top of my head. You know what your problem is? I would love to hear your piercing insight. Where the hell am I? Somewhere where no one can hear your screams. What's with the chains? Don't ask stupid questions. Will you forget about me? Enid. Anytime I grow nauseous at the sight of a rainbow, I hear a pop song that makes my ears bleed. I'll think of you. brought a gun to a sword fight. It's probably the first smart decision you've made today.
My number's in there already. That's a bold move. I hope you're not expecting me to call you. <laughs> <laughs>